everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Well, look what we have here. Whoa. <laughs> there she is, Laura the Explorer, back on the channel and back full time. Full time, yep. Full here time. Here we go. Are you ready for a summer's worth of fun and adventure? I can't even describe how much I've been looking forward to this. Oh boy, we are going to, um, uh, guys, the, the places that we're going to take you this coming uh, spring and summer are going to be absolutely amazing. But before we get into all of that, um, uh, just kick back, relax, listen to what we have to say over the next, say, 10, 20 minutes, because I got a lot of information I want to tell you about so you know what, what we're going to be doing, what we're getting into in the coming months. So uh, here we go, right? Okay, here we go. So right now what we're doing is um, we are headed back out to the location where the newspaper mine and the architecture mine was. And there's a lot of other smaller adits and portals in that area that uh, I never got to go into last summer. Um, we flew the drone around and looked at them with the drone, but I, I, I just kind of focused more on getting into the primary workings of the mines. But like, uh, for example, you remember the adit that I, uh, that I dug out with the hoe and I got in there? <laughs> yeah, the hoe. <laughs> yeah, Bucket is still upset about the hoe. Um, that, that's what I ended up calling the 1917 mine because when, when I got in there, that was yeah, the date I yeah. found with 1917. And as mm -hmm. I went further back, it was all collapsed. Well, I, I believe that at one time it went, it punched all the way through the mountain and came out the other side because there's workings over there. And that's what we're, that's what we're going to be headed out to explore today. But you guys aren't going to see that until this coming Saturday. Today's all about telling you about what we're going to do. So I guess the biggest news, let's just start off with the biggest news, shall yeah. we? All right. The biggest news, guys, is that Laura and I have decided that we are both going to be doing this from now. We're doing this full time. Yep. We've, we've, uh, it's, it's no longer like a side hobby of mine, like what, like what it's been for the last, you know, right now we're in the fifth, I'm in the fifth year of the channel. So we were, we just decided we're going to step it up. Laura um, finally finished out her contract at her old job. She's here now full time. And that's what we're doing. We're going to treat this whole thing um, kind of like a, a YouTube, like a business yep. um, of exploring. And the reason why we both made this decision is we see how much all of you, how much you, you enjoy exploring with us and going along with us on these adventures. Um, so many, so many folks living vicariously through our adventures that I really, I, I, it, it's, it's time. It it's is. time. We've got a, We've got a good base of people. And we want to take it up a notch and start uh, bringing to you guys more explorers, better explorers. Now, what do I mean by more explorers? Oh, Nevada's got lots of it out here. We've oh my all, gosh! All kinds of all kinds of sites to check out. Nevada has so much to offer. I mean, you could just you could be out here for days and days. Yeah. You could, you could explore mines seven days a week. There's there's so much. And you still wouldn't. And you still, still wouldn't, wouldn't you still wouldn't them. see all of it. No. no. So, you know, just kind of like to put this all into context. When I first started this channel, it was all about my rehabilitation after my cancer. Okay. So after cancer, I went through chemo and chemo just really did a number on my body. And I wanted to find a way to rehabilitate myself. And uh, that's what my YouTube channel started off, off as. It was, a, it, was a, it was rehabilitation for me to get out in the hills, climb around, get get the muscles working again you know and then the editing and all that stuff was good for my brain which eventually the chemo brain went away and the chemo fog and uh fast forward all these years later to to where we are now i mean yeah. all that's behind me now um and the channel has had all these really cool chapters okay chapter one was that okay chapter two of the channel was was me, Mr. M and Randy. That was a fun chapter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's too bad we can't do that anymore, but yep. there's reasons why, you yeah. know, Mr. M's health condition and Randy's inability to travel. Anyways, you know, that was never really meant to be a long-term or ordeal. Yeah, it's just a different chapter. It was another chapter and boy, was it a fun one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I know you guys enjoyed it too. So now this is a new chapter, the Laura and Glide chapter. Yes. So, 
I guess we'll tell them what we're going to do. Let's so, do it. Okay, here we go. So up until now, guys, um, I've been putting out an episode every Saturday. And along the way, I read all of your comments. I read all of your input, good or bad. And boy, when it comes to bad, some people, jeez. <laughs> I mean, why don't you just hit me over the head with a stick for crying out loud? I'm just trying to be ent- an entertainer. Right. But they're like, rah, 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 you know, nitpicking anyway, everything. Nitpicking everything. Come on, you know, it's all about variety. You know, the, uh, a lot of my subscribers they like this kind of way of exploring. Some yeah. of it like the more history stuff. Mm-hmm. And a lot of you, and I've listened, a lot of you like just the straightforward. No, no bells and whistles kind of mine explorer that I used to do in the early days of the channel, the first yeah. year to two years, where it was just a forward-facing camera, audio going into a mine and doing it like that. A lot of you guys have said, you know, that um, you, I'll just put it in your words, Gly, you have embraced too much technology, mm-hmm. and it's kind of subdued your how things used to be your level of explore yeah and 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 then the, i had a, one of those you know like a light bulb moment the light bulb went on and i said to myself well here's a good idea i'll do this i'll produce a 20 to a 30 minute episode every wednesday and with that episode the the thumbnail will be like what i've done in the past where it says like episode 191 or episode you know 124 yeah. in the thumbnail okay remember i guys i used to do that so those episodes will come out on wednesdays and those will be in a format like i used to do in the old days no fancy drone work no none of that stuff just just me in the mountains and the mines like i used to do in the old days heck i'm even going to throw in the old the old intro remember where the snake followed yeah. me into the mine so um that's what we're gonna do um and then on saturdays then that saturday's episodes will be everything goes depending on what the mine is yep drones and 360 cameras and everything that i brought it up i brought the channel up to to yeah. this level these days that'll be our saturday episode but you know me Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. It is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're going to carve on my tombstone some days, guys. And here, here lies Gly Coolness. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Now, I realize that a lot of, oh, let's just, like, internet vlog vloggers, okay, um, people follow them on a weekly basis, and they're always doing stuff from day to day to day, you know, and people are following their lives. Well, there's a lot of stuff that uh, that that I do, and, and now Laura and Laura and I do that. We want to we want to make you a part of that, and those little little cuts and, and followings will occur on you know Mondays and Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays, anywhere that we can scatter it through the week. Yeah. You know, so if if we're doing something that's I don't know what it's gonna be, whatever it might be. Maybe we got stuck in a ditch. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we got a flat tire. I don't know. It's the bottom line is is that I wanna make the experience for you guys more than just episode to episode because there's always neat and interesting and fun things happening along the way. Along the way and in the in-betweens. And so I'm gonna bring that into the channel more. And we're really going to attempt to like round round this whole thing out better now i've been doing this for a long time i've been watching what everybody else on youtube has been doing for a very long time yeah and uh i i I scratch my head and i say to myself okay everybody that's interested in this genre everybody's doing it their own way so how can i how can we do this a little bit differently you know and, and, and round it out better. And I think this is a good strategy. So we're going to begin to like, we're going to implement this in the coming weeks. And by the end of April, everything will be fully implemented. And uh, then we're just going to click on forward into the summer. Yep. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to take a quick break. I got I, I to gotta, I wet my whistle. Hold on just one second. All right, there we go. Back again, guys. 
I just I had, to, I had to wet my whistle, step outside for a second to make sure my electric fan is still running. I was looking at my temperature here. Um, at, like I said in the Bob in the Bob video, electric fans only last so long, and eventually they don't. You, you start to lose your CFM, and you got to replace it. I'm going to have to replace that on here. Um, before we get back to where we're going this summer. That's what I was looking at. But anyways, all right, Laura, it's your turn. That's enough of me, blah, blah, blah. We, we need to learn a little bit more about you, um, where you're from, why you decided to do this. I mean, just kind of everything in between. Here you go. Go for it. Well, back when I was a youngster, <laughs> <laughs> my dad decided to take me into mines. Uh -huh. I, I don't even remember the first mine that I went into, except that I just, I liked it a lot. He said, hey, you want to go in here and check it out, see what's in there? Yeah. Sure, why not? And I have two sisters, and they're just, they take one look into a big dark hole, and they're like, I'm not going in there, no way, you're crazy. Creepy. I, a couple of them have, uh, they've gotten to the point where they'll venture in with me on occasion, but for the most part, I'm the one that likes to go in and see what's inside. Yeah. Um, and ever since then, anytime I come across a mine, it's just, uh, there's, I just need to know what's in there. I, yep. I don't know what it is. Same thing as Gly. It's just an, an interest that I've always had. Yeah. And even to this day, it's still, it's not gone away. It's one of those, it's not like a phase of my life. Right. It's just something that's continued to intrigue me. It's Call just... it a past life experience. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I was one of those crazy lady miners <laughs> back in the day. And uh, it's still, it's carried on to this life. But I, I don't know. It's just. I know. It's 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 like, it's 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 something that's been a part of our lives. Yeah, it's just something that's in the back of, of our, our back of our mind. Right. that uh, The back of our minds that uh, mm -hmm. it's just, it's. I, I don't know how to describe it. I well, mean, some of you out there who've had an interest, same thing, going and exploring can relate. Whereas other people, you watch the channel and you're like, there's no way I'd go in there. Yeah. You're going to climb down that ladder? No way. They're even kookier than just going into the mm -hmm. going into the attic and seeing what's in there. Mm -hmm. And true, it has its dangers, but you drive out here through the middle of uh, Nevada from Reno to Vegas and can easily get clobbered by a... Mm -hmm. Some person passing from, you know, one yep. lane into the other. So every every hobby has its risk and some things. It's like you just got to do. You got to, life's an adventure. Life's an adventure and you really got to drink it in. There's you adventures do. all the, all around and it's you just have to be motivated and go out there and, and, and capture that experience. Yeah. And with both of us growing up, you, you growing up in, in, in the Reno area yeah. in Nevada, me in Wyoming, mm -hmm. I mean, we're just, we're outdoor people. We've done yeah. that way our whole lives. And, and we, we have to have that. There, there, that, that tingle has to be. We have to scratch we, that itch. We, we have to, it's just, it, we have to. And for me, um, the deeper I get, the more sketchy it gets, the more, um, the more comfortable I get in these spaces. Yeah. A lot of people, it's the absolute opposite, mm -hmm. you know, for, but for me, I just, I just want to go deeper. I want to go further. And, uh, when I was doing my solo stuff, well, yeah. as, as you guys all know, you <laughs> yeah. can only do so much when you're solo, mm -hmm. you, you got to throttle back or you're going to get hurt. Yeah. Um, but now with the two of us, mm -hmm. and especially since, you know, Laura has climbing experience, yeah. um, you know, uh, now oh, it's, the things that we're going to be able to accomplish, the shafts we're going to be able to rope into, yep. rope down. It's going to be great, guys. I mean, all the stuff that I wanted to do, you know, even back in the days when I was working with Mr. M and Randy, I still kind of, you know, I brought it up a notch, but I'll be honest with you guys, I still had to throttle it back a little bit um, because, you know, Mr. M and Randy, they were... Uh, well, I'll be honest, you know, I, I was always looking out for their safety. Yeah. And, and in doing that, I, I had to throttle myself back a little bit. But with you, oh my gosh, I mean, it's just like the horse is busted out of the barn. Yeah. We can do anything. I mean, within reason. I mean, we come, on, come yeah. on. I mean, there, there, there's some stuff out there that not even the most foolhardy would even attempt. No. But wait a second. There is this guy. I know he lives in Canada. <laughs> 
Yeah, mm. yeah, okay. That that one guy. <laughs> yeah, that one guy. I mean, he's 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 left a high mark in the mine exploring community yeah. that no one will ever top. Mm-hmm. And I don't even I, I I don't don't want anybody to even try. No. Um, what you guys have seen occur on camera, mm-hmm. let me tell you, when you're there in person, I guarantee you, ninety eight to ninety nine percent, you would say, there's no way that I would ever do that, and and I can't believe you're doing it. Because that's absolutely crazy. So yeah. we probably won't take it that far, but we're going to take it a lot farther than we have in the past. Yep. And we've got some stuff coming up that is, oh boy, I mean, it's it's never been explored. It's never had a camera in it. Remember when uh, Laura and I went, uh, it was last summer, her yep. and I, we, we got down... Um, into that one real long incline shaft we, we we made a first attempt and then we had to go back with ropes yeah we got all the way down in there and found the bucket and whatnot okay we're going back to that one because we never truly got into the bottom no we, we ran needed, out of rope we needed more rope. <laughs> yeah. out of rope so that's another that's one one of them we're going to be doing we're going to go all the way in the bottom of that because we know there's, there's a super cool skip car mm-hmm. hiding down in there i'm pretty sure of it yeah um that's going to be a that's going to be a fun one, and there's a bunch in that area that have, that's never been documented, and, and yeah. it's oh, I can't wait. And 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 the best part about it is they're all late 1800s mines, right? Yeah, eighteen like 1865 to mm-hmm. my my favorite years for mines, 1865 yeah. uh, like post Civil War, yep, to to 1900 right in there. Anything mm-hmm. that I can explore in those years. I, I, I'm, I'm as happy as a yep. bumblebee in a, in a field full of flowers. Yeah, I tell I agree, you what. Yeah. Heck yeah. So, all right. So that's what we got coming up for you. Um, just for a moment, I want to talk about rocks. So uh, to a lot of my newer subscribers, it's like, you know, what do you, my older subscribers, you guys know what's going on. You've been, you've been here for a little while. So this will be kind of repetitious but real quick to my newer subscribers the reason why i sell rocks and i put out a video once a week you know it says uh this week's you know ebay rock and mineral sale you know and i i love to throw out the funny music i like to give you guys a chuckle i'll throw something crazy on there while i show off the rocks guys the reason i'm doing this is uh well for number one it brings in a little extra revenue for the channel which covers fuel expenses speaking of that we fueled up this morning five 41 a gallon yeah for premium bob only drinks premium because he's a high performance engine 541 so selling rocks helps cover the overhead expenses for travel and whatnot and it keeps the the channel it keeps us from doing things like these crazy uh, stuff that that people sign on to and put into their videos. You guys have all seen it, the Nord VPN and the, yeah. all that stuff where man, man clippers doing some manscaping <laughs> or, and the list goes on and on. Y'all have watched YouTube. You've seen, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to do that because when I do Explorers, I want you guys to enjoy the experience from front to back with no interruptions, except for of course, YouTube ads, which yeah. bring in the YouTube ad revenue for us. Yep. So, that's why we decided, hey, we'll just sell some rocks on the side. You guys, when you bid on one and purchase one, ultimately what you're doing is is you're you're, you're helping out the channel. You're you're helping bring in funds, and you get to go away with something. You get to go away with a cool rock spec- specimen. But of course, we always do appreciate you when you do throw some uh, money into the tip jar yeah. via uh, all the various means. I think I've got like three or four various mm-hmm. means of tip jar donations down into the description area. We always appreciate too, as well as Super Chat. Yeah. It helps out the channel because it just helps out with the overhead expenses of, of everything that we do from week to week. Okay, with that being said, um, finally, the, the, the last thing would be... Um, so right now we're coming in on 175,000 subscribers. And when I look down into my analytics and I see who's watching and so on and so forth, only, only 44% of you are subscribed to our channel. That's it. Now, I realize it can never be 100%. Yeah. Because there's a lot of, um, I, I call them, ch- uh, uh, 
when you when you go out window shopping, you know I call them window lickers. I, so some people just kind of come in, watch a little bit. Those are channel lickers. Mm -hmm. They come in, they lick the window for a while, and then they leave. That's why the subscribers can never reach a hundred percent. But it sure would be cool if it hit like seventy five or seventy. Yeah. So you know, right now, please, it does help out the channel. It helps out the algorithm. It just it helps out everything. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you guys are notified every time we do something stupid and silly <laughs> okay and 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 the other thing i wanted to say real quick is 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 the diversity within the channel i know that many of you you're, you you are here to see us go underground do things and explore things that most people would generally would never do yep. okay but there is Within the genre, there is a certain level of diversified interests. Some people are interested in that. Some people are interested in the history aspects. Mm -hmm. So, like, if we find a ghost town or something like that, then I'll, I'll do, like, a, a history thing. I don't do those very often because, honestly, they, they never really perform well. Yeah. You know, but... Even though there's a small majority of, of, of my of our subscribers that in like that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. I like to toss that in there every now and then. But it's kind of it, it's perplexing to me how some folks get so bent out of shape whenever I do that. You know, it's you have to understand it that um, you know b before you make your comment. Look behind you because there's 175,000 people standing behind you, and a lot of them have different interests. I don't want my channel, sorry, our channel, to be uh, become cookie cutter and predictable. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. And I want it to be more like a variety show. I want to toss things in there that caters to all of you each and every week. So there's, and then. The other cool thing about it is, is you never really know what I'm up to. Like, yep. what's that crazy guy going to do this week? <laughs> you know, where is he going to take us? What's he going to show us? So, you know, I, I just, you know, I guess what I'm saying is have patience. If a, if a video comes out and it's like, okay, this is, this, this, this is not for me, yeah, but I'm sure, uh, yeah, be yeah. open-minded. I'm sure that next week he'll do something that's mm -hmm. going to be super cool. Don't go down in the comment section and rip my ass. I mean, geez, you know, I put a lot of work into some of that stuff. And, it, you know, so there you go. That's my crybaby rant. <laughs> but, guys, I'm like I'm like a duck, you know. It's like water off a duck's back, you know. It's it's all part of being in, and Laura's going to find out, when you put yourself into the public eye, mm -hmm. when you're out there in the limelight, people judge, people look, you know what I mean? They're not going to be able to make everybody uh, happy. You can't make everybody no. happy because there's just, everybody is different, yeah. you know. So with that all being said, our goal is to make all of you experience the abandoned mine exploring genre and do it in such a way that nobody has ever done it before. We want to uh, maintain and stay in the forefront of the genre. I, I look on YouTube, I see what everybody else is doing and how they're doing it, their techniques, their showmanship, etc. like that. I'm going to continue to do the best that I can to keep raising the bar, keep the bar high, and give you guys the constant weekly high-end production of the ab abandoned mine exploring genre. And along the way, have a lot of fun, bring you guys into that fun. I know we get a little silly every now and then. We get a little laughy. We get a little giggly. But you know why? Because we're having a good time. Yeah, we're enjoying ourselves. We're this enjoying is what it. we like doing. And we want to bring you guys all into that experience. Yeah. We really do. So get ready. We are going to have, I just, as long as we don't get hurt. <laughs> That's let's why we got to watch hurt. each other's backs. Let's, yeah. not, let's, watch each, let's yeah. not get hurt, but mm -hmm. let's have one hell of a spring and summer yeah. and give these folks what they really really want and want to see okay oh yeah all right guys that's gonna have to do it for today we're gonna head on up to these edits and start exploring them one by one and you will get to see all of that this coming saturday and then after that that's when we'll kick in the following week that's when we'll kick into the wednesday episodes and that's when everything is going to start taking off and going crazy. Yep. Okay, guys, thank you so much for coming along. I really appreciate you hanging in there and listening to us do all of our blah, blah, blah. 
and we will see you all again this coming Saturday. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.